Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. And welcome to Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL's Top 100 Players of 2023. This video is indeed the final piece of the puzzle, for me at least. And uh, what, it, uh, what, what this video also marks is the beginning of the Top 100 series being published on the channel. So for anyone who has come on as a member so far, I want to say thank you so much. Um, you know, as little as $2 a month, you've had access to all of those videos that I've put out so far. And um, basically over the last four weeks, I've just had one mission in mind, and that is to create this series. And it takes, it takes a good month. It does. Four weeks. And, uh, you know, the first couple of weeks, first 10 days, first, first 10 or 11 days were spent shooting the videos. And then over the last three or so weeks, I've been editing them pretty much as fast as I can. I couldn't have gone any faster if I tried. So um, at the current moment, I have edited all the way down to number 20. Those extra 20 videos I'll edit in good time. But basically my plan, guys, from here on out is to publish the videos two per day for the next 50 days. And for anyone interested, for anyone who's been here over the years, for anyone who's coming back, I want to say just huge amount of thanks um, and I also want to pat myself on the back you know because I'm I'm proud I'm proud of the the product that I've created and I really hope that whoever's watching can look past the extreme level of talking that uh, in some videos kind of got the best of me I'll go down rabbit holes and I won't stop until I'm finished so look for those of you who do watch every single one, what the hell is wrong with you? No, I'm just joking. Thank you. Thank you one and all. It's been a pleasure. It's been really rewarding to do this again. I always enjoy it. I always come into the, the Top 100 series having not looked at anything to do with football over the off season. And I kind of do it on purpose. I'm not going to lie. I kind of do it on purpose. Looking forward to when this series drops in. And this year, I got onto the series as fast as I could. So, the final piece of the puzzle, as I mentioned at the start, is I'm going to say, I'm going to say four players, four players that I am just absolutely disgusted at the fact that they didn't make the list. I'm not going to lie. Four players that I thought, wholeheartedly, I thought any, like any day of the week, they're going to make the list. But unfortunately, for the year of 2023, they did not. The first the first player that came to mind that I was looking for as we went down the list that was involved actually in the interviewing process. He gave a few pieces of information about other players, other running backs especially. The first player on my list of players that I can't believe didn't make the list is Jonathan Taylor. And I mean, regardless of whether you've seen him play, all you've got to do is look at his high school and college football statistics and you kind of you, you kind of start to paint a picture he's been in the league for three years in his second season so this 2023 list covers the 2022 season the season prior 2021 jonathan taylor jonathan taylor was first team all pro pro bowler nfl rushing yards leader nfl rushing touchdowns leader and won the burt bell award which i'm assuming is for the player of the year presented by the Maxwell Football Club. Okay, so look, 2021, he was absolutely balling and we expected it, right? But for whatever reason, and you know, people who ball out like that have a fantastic like breakout year. The next year that they're on the, the next year that they played, it really doesn't matter what the fuck they do. Their peers have gained that much respect for them over that previous season that they include them on the list anyway. But for whatever reason, Jonathan Taylor was left out. And I can't believe it because it's not as if it's not as if he, he had a terrible year. He only played 11 games, but like I said, he garnered that much respect from the year prior. I thought, I thought, look, 11 games, doesn't really matter how many yards he gets, although he still did get 861. I thought, he's, he's a, I thought he was a lock to get on that list, but apparently not. So he played 11 games, 192 rushing attempts for 861 yards, bringing his total rushing yards through three seasons to 3,841. He got four rushing touchdowns last year, bringing his career total to 33. So look, his production was down, of course. 23, 28 receptions for 143 yards. So all-purpose yards, he did eclipse 1,000. But look, at the end of the day, I just thought that there's, there's, there's just no way he can't make the list, but apparently not. So that was, I'm, I'm going to say, if I was Jonathan Taylor, I'd feel kind of 
I'd feel kind of let down. I'd have a bit of a chip on my shoulder coming into this next season. But that was player number one. Player number two is an obvious one. Tom Brady. Where the hell was Tom Brady on this list? It was his final season. He went from being, I think he was, I think he was, was he number one last year? By the way, before we get into Tom Brady, Jonathan Taylor was ranked fifth on the list during 2022. So let's go to Tom Brady. Now, I'm led to believe that the only reason Tom Brady didn't make the list this year is because he's retired. And effectively, they're ranking players in 2023, but they're actually taking the statistics and the gameplay from the year of 2022. So that means that Tom Brady should still be eligible to make the list even though he is retired. And I thought the fact that they've drawn that line, the fact that they've cut him out just because he's retired, what are you guys doing? In my opinion, that is absolute bullshit. Um, and that just seems wrong. He was actually, yeah, so he came in number one last year. So Jonathan Taylor, number five, kept off the list, but he's still playing. Tom Brady came in at number one. Yes, he's gone and retired, but he still played a, 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 a 20, how many seasons? 21st season, was it? How many seasons? One, 20... 23, 23 seasons. So he played 17 games. The team went eight and nine. They did make it to the playoffs, but they lost. He went from a career high. <laughs> in his 22nd season in the league, he had a career high, 5,316 passing yards. It came down to 4,694 yards in his final season, which is his highest, except for the year before. That was his highest amount of passing yards since 2015. So it's not as if he was dropping off by any means in any statistic. He was still going strong. He still played a full season, but they've done him dirty. They've done him real dirty in this instance, in my opinion. Tom Brady should have been on the list. Doesn't matter if he's retired or not. And did we really know whether he was going to stick to his retirement or not? No, we didn't. So that, my friends, was probably the biggest snub you could ever fathom on this list. The great, the goat, Tom Brady. So that was a real disappointment. Uh, one running back, one quarterback. The third player on this list is actually an offensive tackle, um, a left tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles, and his name is Jordan Mailata. And the fact that Jordan Mailata, in his fifth year in the league, going from strength to strength, uh, one of the tallest, heaviest, and most impressive offensive linemen in the entire league I feel like he was snubbed somewhat as well. I feel like Jordan Malata certainly deserved to be in that, you know, 80 to 100 range. I feel like he's, 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 he's worked his way up there. Um, but in saying that, we did have the center, Jason Kelsey. We had a right tackle, Lane Johnson, on the list. Both, both players were on the list. So where the hell was the left tackle in all this? Come on, man, it's a team. The offensive line isn't just two players, it's five. And Jordan Mailata pretty much takes up the space of two. So look, the fact that Jordan wasn't on the list this year was pretty disappointing. You know, I've followed him since 2018, made it into the league. 2019 was his first season, 2020, 21, 22. I think now he's coming into his fifth year. He's just signed his second bag, became the highest paid Australian athlete in the world behind Ben Simmons. And actually, it might be behind Daniel Ricciardo too. But either way, he is going from strength to strength. And I believe wholeheartedly that all going well, if he stays healthy, he's going to make the list next year. So Jonathan Taylor, Tom Brady, and Jordan Mylar. So the final player on my list of players that should have made the list but didn't, in my opinion, is DK Metcalf. And DK Metcalf has been on the list pretty much every single year since he came into the league. I feel like he is in his fourth or fifth year now. And before I continue, let me look up his stats from last year. So yes, he's been in the league for four years. He made a thousand... Hang on. <clears throat> hang on, guys. Wait. Let me get this straight. Top 120... Okay. Fifth wideout... Uh, okay. He came in at number 52 on the top 100 list in 2022. And in 2022, Metcalf became just the fifth... This is... This is at the end of the 2022 season, which is, if you didn't know, the season that these selectors or these, sorry, the players use to vote and rank these players, right? So in 2022, Metcalf just became just the fifth wideout in league history to record 300 receptions, 4,000 receiving yards, and 35 touchdowns in his first four seasons. And last year, 
90 receptions, 1,048 receiving yards, and 6 touchdowns. Now, the year prior, 2021, 75 receptions for 967 yards and 12 touchdowns. Yes, he scored more touchdowns, but he got less yards. And he was still ranked number 52 on the list. So, unless there was a whole heap of new wide receivers that came through and just started balling out, and DK Metcalf kind of got just um, forgotten about in the most for the most part. You know, he wasn't even mentioned by anyone on the list. It's just, I don't know, it's just it just seemed wrong. It seemed wrong. The guy still got a thousand receiving yards. In fact, he's only got a thousand yards twice. Um, 1,303 in 2020 and 1,048 in 2022. And look, guys, maybe it's just me being a fan and have, you know, having been a fan from the start, from the, the literally the first time I ever saw him run, that 4-3-3 in the 40-yard dash. Look, I don't know. All of those players that I've mentioned mean something to me. And I think that's probably why I feel just so ripped off just absolutely ripped off that they haven't made the list but look at the end of the day the nfl is a cutthroat business and uh, there's a lot of money being thrown around and there's a lot of players in the league and you know if i was put in a hot seat in front of the camera being interviewed about certain players you're going to forget some you're going to forget some i feel like dk and jonathan taylor and jordan Malata were just simply forgotten tom brady though come on Come on, how can you cut that guy out? Either way, guys, that was um, that was it. That, that's the final piece of the puzzle for me as far as this 2023 Top 100 series. I've put a hell of a lot of work into it. This is my final video, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you agree with me or not, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you have been a channel member and um, you've enjoyed these videos so far, please let me know down in the comment section below. I want to see more green in the comment sections because... As we know, if you are a channel member, your name comes up in a bold green colour. None of these videos that I've created have made any money. The NFL have been extra strict this year. They haven't let me away with anything. I believe wholeheartedly that I deserve to monetize those videos due to the fact that they fall under the fair use uh, policy when using copyrighted material. I have made not just a reaction video, I have made a very in-depth reaction video around each and every one of those top 100 videos and look if I did want to push it if I wanted to take it to court if I wanted to take the giant the giant that is the NFL to court I reckon I'd probably win but um well I'm just a, a, a small fish in a big pond is that the analogy does that look I'm out of here guys I'm about to head back to Alice Springs I've spent the last four weeks here in New Zealand it's been a blast uh, it's been very productive. It's the only reason why I was able to get these videos done. And I just want to say thanks for rocking with me for another year. And I'll, I'll see you next year, I suppose, if not sooner.